Colorado, you don't like to buckle up. New numbers show we don't use our seat belts compared to the rest of the country, especially in rural areas. Denver 7, Sally Mamdu is live tonight with how CDOT and law enforcement, though, are working to change that. Sally? And Shannon, enforcing the seatbelt law in Colorado isn't easy simply because the officer can't just pull a driver for not wearing a seatbelt. It has to be a secondary violation, which is why they're out in full force for the next couple of days in rural areas like Arapahoe County looking for those who are not clicking it. When it comes to clicking it, Coloradans aren't buckling up like drivers in other states. Carol Gold with Colorado Department of Transportation says we're at 84%, which is 6% behind the national average. So we're bad when it comes to wearing seatbelts. We're not great. There's room for improvement. Especially in rural areas where CDOT says people are less likely to buckle up. So unbuckled fatalities average consistently over 50% of all passenger uh, vehicle fatalities. It's why CDOT is partnering with law enforcement around the state today and for the next week in hopes of targeting seatbelt violators in rural areas. We've got a sneaky one back there that likes to take it off when I don't see her. Eric Ruiz was pulled over in a remote part of Arapahoe County. He says his $82 ticket is for failing to buckle up his little one in the back seat. A properly used seatbelt child restraint, 8 to 15 years of age, 82 bucks. Learn your lesson. Learn my lesson today. A lesson CDOT and officers are hoping to teach more of with every stop. It absolutely is the number one best way to reduce serious injuries and fatalities in motor vehicle crashes. It's your best defense against a distracted driver, an impaired driver. Now we also talked to another driver who was pulled over and uh, ticketed. Now he was ticketed about $144 for not wearing a seatbelt, but it wasn't just for him. It was also for the uh, passenger sitting next door and he has to pay for both of them. So it only takes just a few seconds to buckle up mm. and stay safe. So it's definitely not worth that much money. Guys, back to you. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Thank you, Sally.